Hey, what's up guys? This is Ian and welcome to another one of my videos. Alright, today I'm going to do an unboxing video, but uh, before I begin, I hope you guys can give me a thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell. Alright, so let's start. Um, I got this package from China, so uh, let's open this up. All right, And... Uh, Okay. Right. And guess what? This is my G Shock modification kit. Alright, so this kit here will turn my G Shock into a Casio Oak. Alright, so let's take this out unbox this uh, kit All right so um, in this package they gave some um, strap uh, lugs I guess you call it lugs uh, some screws okay and then some screwdriver All right this is a screwdriver that came in the box this is another screwdriver so this is the flat head screwdriver all right that previously was the uh, um, Phillips and this one is the pry tool this is a pick that picks on the uh, the lugs of the watch strap okay and on this side here is actually a flat head some sort of a pin so they can push and um, Right, that's it. And now let's take the the case out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this G-Shock DW5600, which is the 5600, into uh, this case. All right, this is the um, Casio Oak case. So let's remove the plastic. All right, if I can find the opening, All right, and there you go. So the finishing is not bad. The face of the case is brushed, okay, brush uh, stainless steel. I hope it's stainless steel. And then um, on the sides, it's actually polished on the first face, all right? And then on the second face here, where the it meets the buttons, is well polished, almost. It's still uh, brushed. Okay, it's got a brushed finish. On the side here, it's actually brushed. Okay, but on this side, it's actually polished. Glossy, okay, glossy, and the finishing I could I could say it's not bad, all round. Let's take a look on the inside. Um, looks like it's casted. Um, it's not the face of the of the uh, the top face of the uh, case is not actually screwed on, so it's basically uh, just aesthetics if you see a screw here it's actually aesthetics it's not really screwed on or it might be screwed on but you know at the back here you don't really see the screw hole it looks uh, chamfered and nicely polished looks casted anyway all right so I don't think it's actually screwed on okay so this is the case so uh, let's take a look at the strap. So if you guys are familiar with the Casio uh, Oak, the AP uh, watch strap, it's got this iconic uh, rails on the side of the strap itself. So let's remove the plastic. Hmm. I think that's the first layer. Should be another layer here. Okay. 
and on the front okay so the quality of the uh, strap itself is pretty good um, the finishing is pretty okay okay so so you can see that it's given me one two three four five op uh, links to I can remove five links I guess uh, I'm gonna try later so and the butterfly class is pretty okay uh, I've got to try it out later to comment on it but without having this on my wrist I think uh, the release the butterfly release is pretty okay right um, yeah right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the case and a strap on my watch so well let's start okay first I will need to remove my existing case from my watch so I'm gonna take the um, screwdriver All right so let's zoom in a little bit okay and then I can start working closer All right, a bit more. Okay, so this is my watch, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is that um, I'm going to remove the screws. Okay. Again, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, try to be careful. Try not to strip the screws. Okay, so let's remove the screws one by one. And by the way, these are my original screws, so um, I think I'm going to reuse them because they are original. It's just that I don't really trust the um, OEM screws. Okay, so I got one screw out, just leave them there. Let's take this, the next one. Alright, slowly, slowly. Okay. Right, and then let's do the other side. All right, slowly remove it. Okay, I gotta focus a little bit. All right. This is the last one. Should come out easily. Okay, so I've got the four screws out. So now I'm just going to use my fingernails and pry the, the case out from the sides. As long as it's dislodged from the buttons, it should come out. There you go. So that's out. Okay, so, so the case is out. Now what I'm going to do is to remove the straps. So I'm going to just, just going to might be easier to use my flat head. 
screwdriver and just push it okay so this is out now let's do the other side okay that's simple enough okay so this is my naked DW5600 let's firstly put on the strap uh, no the case uh, let's put on the case right so let's see if the case fits I'm not sure if there's uh, a direction to this but I guess it doesn't matter whether it's at the top or the bottom let's see if it fits and yes it fits so looking at the side fits the button fits on this one too all right on the side this side as well okay that's fit and this button so it fits nicely uh, the case don't really go all the way down uh, just uh, as the um, this case okay so it's a little bit um, I guess thicker All right, and it comes out a lot from the face of the watch okay so let's um, screw the put back the screws put the screws back sorry and if you let's try I like to go anti-clockwise before I go clockwise so that I don't strip the um, the thread inside okay that's tight enough not too tight and remember these are my original screws so it should fit the thread let's do this side All right there you go uh, next screw And the last screw. Not sure if I should put the strap on first before I put the case, but no, it doesn't matter. We will know later. Okay, so there you go. This is the case installed onto the watch itself looks pretty good on the front and uh, looks pretty good on the back so now let's do the strap itself so let's remove the plastic Right. Then um let's take the um the lugs out that was given. This are the screws. So they gave three lugs just in case. Okay. So three lugs. But yeah. Just in case you lose one on one breaks. I hope it doesn't break. 
should last a long time, but yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put the lugs in this side. Uh, no. Okay, so the lugs go in the other way. Let's move it closer to the camera. So I put the lugs in this way. I think. This is my first time doing this, so don't really know. Oh, okay. So it goes in this way. Right? Then this goes onto your watch. Right? And then you take your tool uh, and push it in so that it goes in. So this side should go in first, I guess. Okay, this side should go in. And then try to find the a grip on it. And then you push this side in so that it goes in all the way. And then, ooh, hmm. let's try that again. Okay, so this one takes a bit of skill. So you need to try it again. So once this goes in, try to wriggle around. So once you hear a click, Okay, that's how it goes in. Let's try that again just to show you guys. So I'm going to push this out again if I can. Hmm. Let's try it. Doesn't want to come out. Hmm. That's weird. How does it come out? That's what I want to know as well. Because if this doesn't come out, then I will have a problem in future. Because then I won't be able to change this case out in future. So I must be able to move this out, I guess. Okay, so that comes out this way, and then can move the the strap, I think. Let's try to use this to push it out. Okay, so. Let's try that again. Uh, first, the strap goes in, in position, and then not on this side, but on this side. All right, so that the strap goes in, and then you use this uh, pick and push it in, push the strap in to position, and it goes in like that. Let's try that again. Once you hear that click, it means that the strap is in. So I'm going to do the other side and then the, try to watch on my wrist. Alright, this one goes in like this. Pry tool, push it in. Try to hit a click. And there you go. So there you have it. Alright, so this is the uh, Casio Oak uh, modification for the DW5600. Very nice, very nice, I, I would say. Okay, but um, if I can, I will want to change the colors of the index. Uh, don't really match the silver, but overall, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to move out a little bit and put on my watch and try it out. Hmm.
Uh, so maybe this one should go in first. And then I don't have much hair, so I don't have the problems of hair catching for <laughs> this kind of link straps. So, wow. I, do, I don't need to remove any of the links. And uh, it fits my, my wrist as it is. Very, very nice. I like it. Look at the sheen and the light. And there you go, guys. This is how you modify your DW5600 uh, with this AP Casio Oak uh, case, uh, OEM case. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, I can leave a link uh, down in the description below for you guys to go take a look. Uh, for the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys can give me a thumbs up for this video. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.